Wedding vows go something like this. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Stay with me. Olivia was excited to make these vows, but because of coronavirus, her wedding was going to be postponed. She was upset, disappointed, and felt like everything was going wrong. Olivia and her fiance really felt like this wasn't going anywhere. They were wondering how long they'd have to postpone their wedding for. Her fiance and her had put so much effort into planning their wedding with their loved ones, and it all seemed like it was over and crumbling away. Benjamin Franklin states, change is the only constant in life. One's ability to adapt to those changes will determine your success in life. Learning to deal with change is probably the most useful skill. Change is unavoidable. Everyone has to experience it, and it's consistently experienced. But we're never trained in school or college or at work how to actually deal with it. Thich Nhat Hanh said it best. He explained that we have this attachment to familiar pain. We'd rather go through something that we're sure of and used to than what he calls unfamiliar pain. Change feels like unfamiliar pain. It feels new. It feels fresh, and we don't want to take that risk because we don't know how it's going to feel. To some degree, we're all going through some grief at the moment. We've all lost something. Maybe you've lost someone. Some people have lost different things. Maybe you missed graduation, or you missed a promotion, or you missed a vacation, or maybe you lost a job, or even a partner, or maybe you're going to miss your wedding. The challenges people are experiencing right now are also that they may feel bad about what they feel sad about. That just takes your energy away from what truly matters. But Olivia and her fiance believed that their vows in sickness and in health applied to now. So they got into a church, printed pictures of their families and friends, and got married and celebrated. Love is not cancelled. Joy is not cancelled. Togetherness is not cancelled. Friendship is not cancelled. Connection is not cancelled. And celebration is not cancelled. Whatever you've missed, lost, postponed, delayed, or cancelled, remember: the emotion and feeling can never be cancelled. Celebrate that birthday. Celebrate that anniversary. Celebrate that wedding and that event in the best possible way you can. Don't stop celebrating because celebration. Is about energy, not about anything else.